Hi. I'm gonna rip up the floor. I have some aggression to let out. I don't know if it's gonna come out with ripping up the floor, but I am, ew, these are not, that's not the move. I am ready to get working today. And honestly, I just want, all these are so big. I just want this floor done. I feel like we're getting really good process, process. <laughs> I feel like we're getting really good progress done. Charlie's been busy all day. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna rip up. Oh, I forgot how fun it is to rip up flooring when it's so sticky. Oh God, okay. This is what we're looking at right now. That's our floor. It's not cute. And it's floor on top of floor. There's more flooring under here that we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave. But this is, um, I think this is gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be. Cause it is just like real, real stuck in here. That didn't really work. I just want this floor done. I feel like the floor, clean, beautiful floor makes such a difference. And we're done with like construction wise. How's it going? Fantastic. Definitely my favorite part. Nice. Definitely remember thinking it was going to take super long and it is not. Really? I'm feeling the opposite. I'm feeling like, oh my god, I forgot the floor stick part. I'm feeling like this is actually, I'm like, oh, I totally forgot how annoying it is to rip the floor up. Like, I don't know why I'm so dramatic. I'm like, oh, we've been doing this forever. Literally Realistically, like, like 10, yeah, 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm not in build mentality. I have to switch on to build mentality and just get in the groove of things. Last one. Woo! <sighs> like, that's nasty. All right, that's what it's looking like. We uh, scrubbed the floor a little bit, tried to scrape up all the uh, all the glue on it, and it's not bad. It's still a little sticky, but honestly, it's how we did the how we redid the van floor. So, you know, whatever. Oh my gosh, one done. Jigsaw Jen at it again, cutting these angles like a sick ass boss. Oh. What the f Also, during this really fun flooring process, I hate the walls. It's not cute and I'm just, I'm not liking it. And I think I'm just gonna pick another little swatch like this, just kind of go over the walls a little bit. I'm not gonna buy another lime wash because um, we just we don't have time for that. Um, but it is, like I love the color so much, but it's just pulling really warm with the lights. Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and love it. Doubt it. Last one. Wow. Damn. Epic. Floor is done. Just gonna put some trim along all the edges. One else. Today we fix our mistakes, which is this hideous, disgusting yellow paint. We gotta turn this heater on. I'm freezing. Okay, so I went to Home Depot. I'm not reordering another lime wash paint because I just, we don't have patience for that. The theme of this is just have no patience. So I bought a bare chalk base paint and he tinted it the color that I want. So this is just super matte. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. I'm gonna do the same technique over this color and hope for like the same texture. Maybe the two colors meshed together will be, you know, Gorgeous, I don't know. So we're gonna pour, we're gonna paint, and hopefully that this just looks okay. And it matches kind of, because I just love the lime wash look. I really wanted to add texture to the walls. Also, the brush we were supposed to use the whole time was at Home Depot, the whole time. So the smell of this diesel heater is making me very nostalgic. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like life on the road. Ooh, oh my God, she is so pretty. How's it going? I love it. I feel like it's going so good. That wall is dry, I think. It's like exactly what I wanted. Can we also just point out the fact that when we were painting the lime wash the first time, she said she loved it too, so who knows what's gonna happen in like a day. That's fair. <laughs> okay, my arm is definitely sore from seven minute brush strokes, but oh my God, is it looking amazing. And I'm so pumped. This is like one coat. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It looks so good. Like, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. Oh my God, it looks so much better. 
but I'm feeling so good about it. I'm listening to my audiobook. I'm finishing up Cruel Prince right now. My little, my little fantasy, October fantasy and horror. Yes. I finished and I almost ran out of paint. I left like the tiniest, tiniest bit that I can like swish some water around the can if I need to do like touch ups or you know, whatever is happening with that wall. I feel so much better just being in here. Like looking around makes me so much happier. I love this color. Welcome back. Um, today is exciting. Today is very exciting. We got power jacks. I'm going to start working on the wiring part. I have to drill four holes through the camper in each corner where the jacks go and then run wire to this little box. And then after that's all set up, we're going to jack the camper up, put it on the truck, put the power heads on, plug them in, and hope they work. Come in through here, run in there, run under here, and into this box. Charlie's finishing up the electric jacks, and the camper's all the way up. We got to get it on the truck. I'm so pumped. I can't even believe this is real life. I can't believe this is going to be an option. I knew we weren't going to be able to live without this. This is definitely a spoiled treat. Little sugar mama moment. Is this going to be the last time doing this? Not uh, manually, hopefully. Now that the camper is on the truck, you can see it's a pretty high gap, but torque lift hooked it up with some stairs. So, I'm gonna put them on for the first time. Ready? Ah! This is cool. Just going down my stairs. Tor Torque lift is seriously the best and they have the most incredible customer service ever. Like, they really, do. they really do. They get back to you so fast and help you out with whatever you need. Like depending on what truck you have, what your height is, they just, they're the best. They honestly hook it up. Hmm. It's on, but it ain't right. Uh oh. And then the, the set screws don't line up with the, like the existing holes in the jacks itself. Double check, but I don't think they're. I don't think they're. They need to. Really? Um, <laughs> all right. Bye bye. Let us know if you need anything else. I will. Thank you. <laughs> what did you okay. do? So I had like a little bit of a moment. For whatever reason, I was like, <laughs> I thought that like this head held, like didn't like hold the weight. All right, I kind of did. <laughs> like weight down. That was the stupidest thing I ever saw. So I so originally the re, the biggest reason why I jacked the truck up and uh, camper and put it on the truck is because I was like, well, if I take this head off, it might just shoot straight out. It won't hold the pressure anymore. But like logically, that makes zero sense. So it just sits on by a couple set screws. <laughs> That's sick. Aren't you ready, girl? Ready. All right, all lift. My gosh. Lifting, 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 lifting. You did it! That's pretty sick. That's it. <laughs> so cool. Like, this is definitely a game changer. Oh my god, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Putting the house back together. This is, like, it's been apart for so long and this is honestly the moment that I have been waiting for. To just get everything in, have it look like a home! Gosh! Alright, it's in. Jen is, uh, deep in there. Helping out. Getting the tiny spaces. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to get out? <laughs> Let's see. Oh God. Okay. All right, that wasn't, that wasn't so bad. The Formica is not as strong as the Butcher Block. Cracked it's not it. Not a Butcher Block, it should be a Butcher Block. I cracked it a little bit. Whoopsie. Right there. Where? What do you think? Oh my God. Holy crap, my oven. Wow, and the lights work, show the lights, show the lights. Here and on the inside. It's so cute. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with it. Stop. 
today I am installing the tie downs for the truck camper. So these are frame mounted tie downs that will attach to the frame of the truck and then we hook the uh, camper to those to hold them in place while we drive. Um, so we went with torque lift tie downs which I feel like are kind of the most popular ones and uh, torque lift hooked it up with some front and rear tie downs so uh, hopefully today uh, we'll get those bad boys in. Another cool thing about these torque lift tie downs, they come with a breaker bar. Just kidding. But I couldn't uh, break one of the bolts, so I just used this to extend the handle, get a little bit more leverage, and it works great. So I don't know if they'd recommend, but hey, it's all strong steel. And what's really cool about their instructions, they show you pictures of where all the bolts and stuff like that, so it's actually really easy. First one installed. Three more to go. First one's always the toughest, so it should be pretty simple to do on the other side. Okay, so the first one maybe took me close to an hour, but the second one only took 15 minutes or so, and now it's installed. So that'll get hooked to the camper, that's tied to the frame. I'm out here for moral support now, and I've heard a lot of yelling. I've heard a lot of bad words through the window. Yup, lots of them. Out here for moral support for the rest of the day, finishing up a couple odds and ends, but it's gonna be so worth it. This is one of those projects, like you know those projects that are such a dread to do that you know it's gonna take so long, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, but like when it's done, it's done, and you don't have to redo it. I'm doing the honors, I've done no work, but I'm gonna slide it in. So this one took me like 45 minutes to an hour, and uh, hopefully the other one takes me like 15 minutes. Like the other day. It probably will. I have confidence. What do you think? It's gonna take quick or no? I think it's gonna be quick. I'm gonna set a timer. Look at that. <laughs> oh. That's called a flat one. Well, yeah, just like, it's also, like, it's pressed flat. And we're done. Hold on. 1027! Hold you. Damn! So is the first one. That's a pain in the dick. Damn. Can we honestly talk about how unhinged I have been through this entire build? I mean, it's bad if you've made it this far. Can we get a Charlie Rock in the comments? I swear, he's been putting up with me and I'm a freaking nightmare. <laughs>